back to the moon, then to Mars, read to you by Carol Brigham. The first time on the moon, 1969. Fifty years ago, the whole world watched the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. Neil Armstrong became the first human to step on the moon. He said it was a small step for a man, a giant leap for mankind. July 20 will be the 50th anniversary of that moment. The giant computers that guided rockets to the moon in the 1960s and 1970s were less powerful than the tiny computers in your smartphone. The missions were extremely hazardous. They cost $25.4 billion. Millions of people were glued to their TV sets. Would the astronauts get back to Earth safely? They did. Four other missions later landed on the moon. Twelve astronauts spent a total of 16 days on the moon. They brought back 842 pounds of rocks, sand, and dust. Will humans go back to the moon? President George W. Bush and President Obama wanted the U.S. to go back to the moon. However, there was not enough money to do this. On December 11, 2017, President Trump signed Space Policy Directive 1. This directive told NASA to lead a program to explore the moon, Mars, and other space destinations. The President said, this time we will not only plant our flag and leave our footprints, we will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars, and perhaps someday to many worlds beyond. Hurry up, said Trump. NASA had plans to return American astronauts to the moon by 2028. The Moon to Mars project will have astronauts on the moon for a longer period of time. They will explore more. They will have robots to help them. They will learn how resources on the moon can help create a foundation for going to Mars. The President wants the project to get Americans on the moon much sooner, by 2024. Can it happen? NASA will need a lot more money to do that. In 1970, NASA worked alone on the missions to the moon. This time, NASA has invited nine American aerospace companies to be part of the program. Getting ready. NASA said it would deliver scientific instruments to the moon by the end of 2019. NASA has been working on a new way to launch rockets. This Space Launch System, SLS, is huge. It was supposed to be ready in 2017. It's not ready yet. When the SLS is ready, it will be able to launch a capsule with astronauts in it. The capsule is called Orion. It will be able to hold four astronauts. The SLS and Orion could be ready for the first test flight in mid-2020. That's if NASA receives an additional $1.2 billion. Exploration Missions The first flight for Orion will be Exploration Mission 1 in 2020. NASA will send Orion without a crew thousands of miles beyond the moon and back. In Exploration Mission 2, Orion will take a crew around the moon. Gateway After the exploration missions, NASA will build a space station that will orbit the moon. This will be named Gateway. 
astronauts and robots will build Gateway in space. The first part of Gateway will launch from Florida in 2022. Gateway will be the site where Orion will land and take off. NASA will land a rover on the moon by 2023. If all goes well, astronauts will go to the moon by 2024. Astronauts will use a small spacecraft to get to the moon from Gateway. Why go to the moon? NASA says that the missions will create new technology, create new industries, and help create a peaceful connection with other nations. Another reason for the missions is to get helium-3. Helium-3 is a gas that nuclear fusion power plants might use. The Earth does not have much helium-3. Some scientists believe that there are large supplies of helium-3 on the moon. Russia, the European Space Agency, Japan, India, China, Israel, and North Korea are also planning future missions to the moon. Hazards of space travel. Space travel is extremely dangerous. There are many hazards. Radiation, isolation, sleep loss, work overload, changes in gravity fields, small living space, and many more. On to Mars? NASA's InSight mission landed on Mars last November. InSight has been sending information about the interior of Mars. In 2020, NASA will send a spacecraft to Mars. It will have a rover to check for natural resources and dangers. It will help scientists learn what problems there will be if astronauts live there. It may be possible for a mission to Mars with astronauts in the 2030s. For more information about subscription to Easy English News and other fabulous resources, visit our website at elizabethclare.com.